Well, this is the last week. If you're looking to have a solar power system installed for your home in California, and you want to get full price credit for solar net metering, then you have about seven days left to sign up and get your solar project started. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the latest news on California net metering 3.0, which is the rule change about to take effect, which can cut into your solar savings up to 75% from today's rates. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 10 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find expert reviews of solar gear, that's panels, batteries, inverters, um, pretty much everything that makes up a home renewable energy solar plus storage systems as well as relevant industry news, like today's video here, where we're talking about the pending net metering rule change in California, and the move from net metering 2.0, which is what we have today, into net metering 3.0, which is really not net metering at all. It's more of what we would call an avoided cost. Now, when we talk about solar power for your home, and we talk about net metering, what we mean is that your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, solar panels produce electricity, which not only directly power your home, but you also can sell the excess electricity to the power company. And with net metering, you get full credit for any electricity you send to the power company during daylight hours, effectively running your meter backwards, so that during evening hours, when you have to pull electricity back in from them, you've already built up the credits during daytime, so there's still nothing to pay out of pocket at the end of the billing cycle. But what makes that work is a one-for-one -one net metering credit. If you send the power company a kilowatt hour during the daytime, you can pull back that kilowatt hour at nighttime, and it's an equal one-for-one -one trade. But what the government in California, specifically the Public Utilities Commission in California, what they voted to do a few months ago was to change from the one-for-one -one equal net metering credit to more of an avoided cost type system. So what that means is that if you have a solar power system, you can still send your excess electricity to the power company during the daytime. But instead of them crediting you at the full retail rate, which is about 30 cents per kilowatt hour in California, they're going to pay you a much discounted rate of only 7 or 8 cents a kilowatt hour. That means you have to send them 4 kilowatt hours just to get one back in terms of a trading back and forth. And, and of course that's really going to eat into your payback. Just a word from our sponsor, Span.io and the Span Smart Electrical Panel. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus battery backup system for your home, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much solar energy you're collecting, how much energy you're storing, and where that energy is being spent within your home. The SPAN Smart Electrical Panel allows you to dynamically control which circuits have access to backup power and which ones do not without the need of a separate critical loads panel and get up to 40% more running time on your battery backup. So feel free to go directly to the span.io website or you can just visit the link on the description below. It'll take you to the page, you can get more information or if you'd like to, get in touch with an installer right away. If you're looking at an investment in a solar power system, one of the things that makes it pay back so well is the idea that you can get full price credit on a net metering program. You send them a unit of energy, you pull back a unit of energy, it's an equal one-for-one -one trade. And so the power company said, well, we've had enough of that. We don't want to pay the full price anymore. We're just going to go ahead and pay you the way we pay our power plants. We're just going to buy it cheap at the wholesale price and you all just take it. And then when we sell it to you, we're going to charge you the full retail price. And that's how the power companies make their operating income. They buy cheap wholesale from power plants and then they sell it at a huge retail markup to individual homes and businesses. That's the, that's, the, that's the power utility business model. And so they were able to convince the state uh, commissioners 
to basically agree with them that they shouldn't have to pay full price to buy solar electricity from homeowners. So that's created an urgent rush of homeowners that are trying to get in under the current net metering 2.0, which is still in effect. Technically, it's still in effect for another month, but if this is something that you wanna lock in for your home, I would suggest get your solar contract, get your project started this week, because most likely your solar contractor is going to have to schedule you for an on-site survey to verify your system measurements. That could take two weeks to schedule right now because of how busy things are. Uh, and then of course the paperwork has to be filed with the power company for your net metering application. And since all of the power companies right now are dealing with higher than usual volume, whether you're talking about PG&E, uh, SoCal Edison, uh, SDG&E, uh, pretty much all of the for-profit power companies are dealing with triple, quadruple the normal volume because of people wanting to lock in under the current plan. And so even the power companies are telling us, oh, yes, although the deadline is April 14th, you need to submit your application 20 days prior to that in order for us to guarantee that the application will be reviewed by the April 14th cutoff. So for many, many reasons, uh, guys and, and, and girls, the time is right now. If you're already shopping for solar or if uh, you're in the process of looking at solar options and you wanna make a decision, this week is the time to make a decision. Get your uh, contract locked in, choose your contractor, get your site survey scheduled so that we can actually start filing the administrative paperwork needed leading up to your solar panel installation. Now, once the new net metering 3.0 rules take effect, since homeowners will no longer be able to take advantage of selling excess solar to the utility company for full price credit, many more homeowners are now going to need to look at battery storage options for their solar power system. And so instead of being able to dump the excess electricity or sell the excess electricity back to the power company during daylight hours, what you can now do is store that excess electricity in a battery that you own and you have custody of at your property, and then you can draw off the battery at nighttime as opposed to having to pull from the power company at nighttime. And so I think you're gonna see a lot more folks that are seriously considering now battery storage with their solar installation so that they can self-consume, that's what we call it, self-consumption, so that you can self-consume the excess solar electricity you generated during daylight hours you can still be consuming your solar during evening hours because you stored some of it in your battery. However, this means that prices are gonna go up because now not only are you paying for the solar panels on your roof, but you're also paying for the battery storage, right? You're paying to own that battery so you can store your energy and choose when you wanna consume that energy. So that means costs are going up. It means the payback is not going to be as fast, although I'll still tell you, Compared to other parts of the country, even with the added costs of batteries, solar still pays for itself in California faster than it does in many other states, including Texas, Florida, or where I live here in the Mid-Atlantic in the Carolinas. Uh, solar still pays back in California faster, even with the battery cost. Um, but it also means if you're a solar sales professional out there, and maybe you've been trained on one of these cheap and, and, and overly simplified sales processes, you know, with the simple math, oh, your monthly payment was this, we're gonna lower your monthly payment to this. Selling solar on a monthly payment savings basis alone is really not going to cut it anymore. Uh, for two reasons. Number one reason is the batteries cost a lot. 15,000 bucks or up to get a battery storage system with your solar. The other reason is that interest rates are going up. And so where maybe, maybe six months or a year ago, you were able to offer your homeowner uh, a two or 3% interest loan, now those same loans are six or 7% interest. And so the monthly payment and, and the whole financial savings sales pitch doesn't really exist. And, and really this is why here at Solar Surge, we really do look at this, this solar proposition differently than a lot of just the solar sales guys that are out there. Like solar and storage is not just about saving cash. I mean, it helps. You do save cash in the long term, but this is about being energy independent. This is about looking out there and saying, okay, there's technology out there today, solar panels, batteries, uh, monitoring control equipment, but there's technology out there today that I can acquire that will allow me to become energy independent and self-sufficient on a household level whether that's for environmental reasons, whether it's for long-term financial savings, 
or whether it's for emergency preparedness reasons. But whatever it is, there's technology available today that allows you to declare your energy independence at a household level. And this is what I've been advocating now for over a decade is to be as self-sufficient as possible, right? Because again, look, if the grid goes down, if the grid gets cyber attacked, if, if the utility just keeps jacking the rates up, which they're doing in California at a, at a ridiculous rate, but whatever it is, you're protected. If you own the means of producing your own electricity, storing your own electricity so you can use it whenever you want to later on, then you're just going to be in a much better position to weather the storm. So if you're a solar sales professional out there and you've just been taught to you know, sell the numbers on the spreadsheet, the spreadsheet's going out the window. This is about energy independence and self-sufficiency and, and doing what's right for you based on your values. It's not about because the salesman showed you some numbers on the spreadsheet. And so if you want to learn about what, is it, what does this energy independence mean, then go back and watch the Solar Surge channel and we'll teach you about how all this stuff works. And hopefully you'll, you'll get an understanding of why so many people are choosing to invest in this technology. And it's not just because a salesman showed you some numbers on a spreadsheet. Now, the other thing I should warn a lot of you about, and I know I'm going to upset a lot of people when I say this, but this is why, especially right now, it is so important not to just go out and choose the cheapest solar bid or the cheapest solar contractor that you can find. When you're talking about now integrating solar with battery storage and potentially with other power sources as well, like bi-directional EV chargers or fuel burning generators, and tying that into a, an entire home hybrid renewable energy system, that is not the kind of work that you want done by the cheapest contractor in town. Look, I guarantee you, if you are looking for a cheaper price for solar, you will always find a cheaper price for solar. There are outfits that just sell on the website online. You have no idea who the company is or who the actual installer is that's gonna do the work. Um, or you've got these companies that pop up. You know, 90% of solar companies that are in business today have been in business for five years or less. And I hate to say it, but half those companies are not gonna be here five years from now especially when we're going into the kind of recession and, and spiking interest rates and the kind of financial environment that we're in right now, many of these upstart companies just aren't going to survive this environment. But the other problem is that many of these solar companies that have been used to just selling panels only, that don't really have the long-term experience of doing solar with battery storage and having to, in some cases, modify the wiring inside your home, trust me, that is not the kind of work that you want done by the cheapest crew in town or by an amateur crew. So make sure when you're choosing your solar installer, make sure that they're getting you the right equipment, they're giving you a fair price, although it may not be the cheapest price, but also make sure that they have the technical competency to do what they're proposing to do, both the solar panels, the inverters, the storage, uh, if it's gonna be an internet connected system, make sure that the team knows what they're doing so that they can deliver you a solution, not just today, but also that, that they can fulfill on the promise to keep that system healthy and functioning for you over the 25 year of the relationship. Well, folks, this has been a quick update on the net metering 2.0 and transition to net metering 3.0 situation right now in California. Um, as always, if you're in the process of looking at solar options, um, if you're working with Solar Surge, if you already have a price quote uh, and you'd like to go forward, um, you know, go ahead and reach out to your sales representative. Let them know that you would like to move forward with the project so that we can get the necessary paperwork over to you. Uh, and of course, if you're in the evaluation phase still, maybe you've, you've already got some price quotes or you need to get a comparison quote. Uh, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below, set up a quick call with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to get some pricing and some information for you right away. Uh, folks, as always, I thank you for tuning into the Solar Surge channel today. And if you're getting good value from the videos that we publish here, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well. Um, that way, you know, as we put the new videos out, you can stay up to date with everything that's going on in the marketplace, whether it be industry news like this or, you know, new product releases, product updates. We'll do our best to keep you up to date with everything that's going on in the solar plus storage industry. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.